Hey everyone, welcome back to GW Add-ons. Today, I've got an exciting tutorial for you. We're going to learn how to create and email PDF certificates automatically from Google Forms using the Smart Certificates add-on. If you're organizing events, quizzes, courses, or any activity where participants need certificates, this tutorial is going to save you tons of time. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on these productivity hacks. All right, let's dive in. With this tutorial, you'll learn how to generate certificates instantly from Google Forms submission, send personalized PDF certificates via email, organize certificates in Google Drive and track them in a linked Google Sheet, design stunning certificates with Google Slides templates for custom placeholders, personalize your email messages with custom subject lines and message. To begin, install the Smart Certificates add-on. You can find the Smart Certificates add-on in the Google Workspace Marketplace. Install it, and we'll get started. Connect Smart Certificates to your Google Form. Authorize the add-on to access your drive and form responses. Before we can create and send certificates, we need a Google Form where participants can enter their information. If you already have a form, that's great. If not, go ahead and create one. Make sure your form includes fields for the participant's name and any other details you want to appear on the certificate. With the Smart Certificates add-on installed, open the Google Form. Go to the Add-ons menu, find Smart Certificates, and open the sidebar. Here's where the magic happens. First, you'll need to design your certificate. Smart Certificates is adding a feature gallery which offers a variety of templates, or you can upload your own custom design. Choose a template that suits your needs. Customize your certificate template. Add your organization's logo, colors, and any other design elements to make your certificates unique. Next, set the passing score to send certificates. Set the certificate file name. Select the Google Slides template to be used as the certificate. You can set the Google Drive folder where the generated certificates will be stored. Select the file format, PDF or image, in which the certificate is to be created. Now map the fields from your Google Form responses to the certificate template. For example, Map the name field from the form to the name placeholder on the certificate. This ensures that each certificate is personalized correctly. Then, save the settings. In the Smart Certificates sidebar, there's an option to customize the email that will be sent along with the certificate. You can personalize the subject line, message body for participants passing or failing the quiz. You can add placeholders in the subject and message body which are mapped to Google Forms responses. Then, save the settings. Once you're happy with the email content, it's time to automate the process. Smart Certificates allows you to automatically generate and email certificates whenever someone submits the Google Form. Just enable the auto send feature, and you're all set. Now, the magic happens. Smart certificates will automatically generate and send PDF certificates to participants based on their form responses. Let's test it out by submitting a new response to our form. Side note this quiz is automatically created from our other add on, AI Assist for Gemini in Sheets, Docs, and Forms. Check that out to use Gemini AI directly in your Sheets and Forms. The user enters their name and answers the quiz and submits the Google form. The add-on in the background will check the passing conditions and create a PDF certificate for the user if applicable. Then it will send the certificate to the user as an attachment. And there you have it. The participant has now received their personalized PDF certificate straight to their inbox, all done automatically. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. 
automating certificates with Google Forms and the Smart Certificates add-on is a huge time saver, and I'm sure you'll love how easy it makes your workflow. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Drop any questions you have in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help out. Thanks for watching.